got there? 58, 59 degrees? Here's the current temp in the house. Regular AC unit puts out low 50s, 52 to 55. That's pretty close to AC temps right there. This thing's working great. Just a quick test of the airflow, check that out. It's not going to take too long to cool this room off with this. It's working great. Beautiful. Pad's totally saturated. Could totally saturate the blue pad with this. That much water. And it still stays completely dry on the outside. Not even a drop goes through. No leaks at all. No water coming out whatsoever. Beautiful. Alright, let's start by prepping the bottom bucket. Only did two things. Cut the hole in the center of the hole saw. And put the little notch there for the pump cord. And I just used some tin snips to cut the notch. Okay, now let's prep the top bucket. I'm going to start with the EVAP cooling pad and the screen. Alright, it's 28 inches across, so I'm going to cut it in half, so right at the 14 mark. Now cut down two pieces of screen essentially the same size. And all you do, basically, coil it up and drop it in the bucket. But before we do that, I'm going to add the holes on the bucket now. Looking good. Alright, now let's cut the hole in the lid for the fan. Okay, I wanted about a six and a half inch circle for the fan. So we'll set the stylus about at three and a quarter. That's perfect. Now you just take your cooler pan, wrap the screen around it, and drop it in. Alright, now we just gotta put it together. Okay, now just take the pump and the clear tubing, attach those, and drop the pump in the bottom bucket. Just slides on and I clamped it on just to be sure. Fill that with water, drop the lid on. You got the hole here, remember in the top bucket, you got the hole in the bottom as well. So just center that on, and then they line up well. Then just snake the clear tubing up and around the top of the blue pad.
Now it'll act like a soaker hose. And then finally just block off the end. That's a little plastic hose barb with a piece of PVC. All you really need to do is fold the tubing over and clamp it off. But I had those pieces extra so I used them. That makes it a lot easier to move around when you got five gallons of water in there. You can actually take this, put it right against the blue pad, and it'll stay completely dry. It won't go through the screen. It's amazing how that works. Okay, now I got it on the solar panels. The connection, over to the fan cord, up to the fan. So the only thing on grid is the AC water pump, but you can buy those in DC as well. That air coming out of there is freezing. It's 58 degrees right now. If you want to make the air even cooler, drop some ice packs in there, some ice cubes in the bottom. Mid-40s. Then when you're done, just pull it apart and let it dry.